So a bit about me, uh, my name's Jackie Record. Uh, I grew up in this area and I live out in Dubai, but this is going to be my permanent home and I'm a forensic accountant by trade. Andy Steadman Design. I actually found uh, you on the website and just like the look of the gardens, looking for somebody who's designing uh, in Chichester. And I think it's really important to have a good design and structure rather than just bung in plants randomly. So Andy Steadman Design Service, really great. Um, very responsive and hands-on and the organic process, which I know sounds weird in the science of gardening, but uh, it was just uh, a very easy, uh, collaborative experience. This house, and the house itself had a designed garden, it had been designed by somebody some 15 years ago. So it wasn't really working, collapsing, and it was very formal. Having lived all over the world, I like a very open and relaxing garden. We looked to see what were the things that we really wanted, and that was great because it's quite a lengthy process, uh, probably because I didn't really know what I want, wanted, and uh, uh, you needed to get ideas. We went backwards and forwards a few times uh, and got a nice conceptual design that brought everything together, and it was put into some nice sort of pictures that I could understand. And after that conceptual design, we whittled some stuff back. And again, Andy Stephan and Sam were really hands-on in sort of coming up with some suggestions and taking my thoughts into account. And then finally, once we got to that stage, then we got into actually doing it. And what was great uh, is you recommended a company to, to work with putting the garden in. We were absolutely fantastic as well. And that took the weight off my mind because I wasn't always here. So, it was a very smooth process and again all the way it was lots of discussions and collaboration which made it very easy. Uh, so it's a user friendly garden, uh, it's got lots of bits you can relax in and bits that uh, we can you know just hang out in. It's, it's just it's a nice thing to look at and it's, it's a nice space to actually be inside so it's very practical. So added another whole, well, not just a room, but a, almost an extra house onto my garden. It was very difficult to use easily uh, in the way I wanted to entertain. So I wanted a space uh, that was eventually going to be nice to look at all year round, but also that feeling you want to have people round. And the house inside is pretty new, and now the house outside is pretty new as well, and that's feels all in keeping. I think it's so important to look out uh, my window and whichever window it is looking at the garden it makes you happy and it looks lovely and it's changing all the time um, so being able to have everybody out in the space you know, kids coming back family coming round we were drinking champagne only yesterday Last summer we were inside, we didn't feel that there was anything in the garden that was very usable we, and so we didn't really sit out here. The garden had added value just because it, it fitted so well with the house and, and was an extension of, of, um, of the whole house. And I'm not sure that always UK people value gardens in the same way, but I think when they see it, so many people say, Oh, you could do this to a garden here. I didn't know a garden could look like this. Uh, would I recommend you? Absolutely wholeheartedly. You, know, you often see these types of things and wonder whether it's genuine or whatever, but it's been a really great working experience and having that teamwork. If we'd had somebody not good actually putting the garden in, it would have been a completely different experience, but that was fantastic as well phase two for a jacuzzi and stuff like that. I decided I, I'd wait for enough, you know, a couple of things and I will definitely be getting the professionals in to do that.